originally it was a five piece band, but um, that had such a short life that it's not worth. Yeah, the first uh, kind of kind of form, the first kind of formation of the band that lasted any time was a four piece with David Allen on guitar and uh, Kevin, in fact, was playing a rhythm guitar. And David was playing um, uh, lead guitar, Kevin was playing bass, Robert was playing drums, and I was playing organ. I mean, they weren't actually records in any sense of the word. I mean, certainly not for the music. Um, they weren't intended to be records. They were just a fact. Uh, kind of we went into the studio one day, uh, demo tapes, to see how the stuff sounded. And uh, we made the mistake of leaving them at Polydor. The first stage of the group's life, we were kind of uh, pushed around the usual pop circuit in England, which didn't work out too well. And uh, then we just decided to get kind of jobs on our own. Um, and we started working the art circuit in Europe, which was much better. I mean, we did like the Paris Biennale and Edinburgh Festival and that kind of, which of course I'm mean, socially much more pleasant and uh, also actually much more effective in terms of promotion. I mean, the word got around. And um, we'd been working in France a lot and we came back to England and uh, David, who was an Australian and therefore uh, incurably alien, was refused uh, entrance by the immigration. So in fact, uh, we had to carry on as a three-piece. And he had a big black cross put through his passport because he'd been working illegally in England. For it. <laughs> After we'd finished the Hendrix tours, in fact, the band actually dissolved. Um, uh, we came back to Europe and said, well, forget it. But we, actually, we also had a record commitment to ABC for another record. And uh, uh, after about a month back in England, we re reformed just to make the record. No live dates at all, we were just going to do the record. And Kevin was in Spain, and uh, in fact, we needed to get a record together very quickly. And um, he wasn't around, Hugh was around, and Hugh, in fact, was much quicker at picking things up. I mean, he read music, which Kevin didn't do. And so we were able to you know, rehearse together for about. Uh, a week, two weeks, and then did the record, the second record. And it was partly due to financial reasons, in the sense that seven pieces is, is uh, actually requires a lot of uh, equipment to make it sound good, which we just couldn't afford. Um, also, it's a very difficult format to write for. I mean, seven pieces, it's very hard to keep everybody involved all the time. And uh, especially since um, they're, they're all pretty individual people, and they all kind of like to be involved all the time. And uh, uh, and it was either it was chaotic that everybody was involved, or it kind of worked in a sense, but people were, had to be kind of left out for areas. Oh, you know, for it was sure. very difficult. It was either too too strict or you know too anarchic, and so we scaled down to um, a five piece with Lynn Dobson. Yeah. In the last three years, the personal changes personnel changes have been very very fast, and they usually occur at a time when uh, no one considers it's worth. Um, teaching new members old material, and they may as well teach them new stuff. And so, in fact, you've always got, in this band, I should say, like, um, two people know, you know, a certain amount, three people know kind of less, and, you know, a trio with Hugh is the longest, you know. No, 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 the quartet with Elton, as you mentioned, was the longest running. I think there'd been a kind of uh, a musical split developing in the group between uh, Robert and the other three members over about a year, two years. And uh, when you get musical difference quite often, it's very hard to actually articulate what is really happening. And so um, all I can tell you is uh, the way he saw it at the time, uh, which isn't necessarily the whole truth. Um, but it was mostly that uh, he didn't like irregular time signatures, that he preferred to work in 4-4, to prefer to do um, more kind of straight song material. Um, you know, these were the reasons that came up, you know, most frequently, and uh, I, mean, I think probably, you know, that is a f pretty fair reflection of what was going on. Whereas, of course, Elton was much more interested in kind of uh, doing solely instrumental, instrumental music and uh, working in irregular times, and uh, Hugh and I were also. I mean, Soft Machine has always been, I mean, the consistent thing is that it's kind of very kind of loose democracy, which usually ends up, because it's inverted democracy in a sense, which usually ends up doing what uh, the kind of minority wants to do, as it so happens. But anyway, it's a corporate decision, what do you do in the end? And having done that solo album, he realized the kind of delights of a uh, kind of fascist setup where you completely <laughs> control of what happened at the end of it. Um, that plus the fact that the music was getting more and more to the stage where um, whether it was good or bad depended very much on how well the individuals played that night and it got to be a bit of a strain, I think.